Hydrology and Irrigation Engineering. The topics which I am going to explain are Introduction to Hydrology Importance of Hydrology Global and Indian Water Availability Practical Application of Hydrology Hydrologic Cycle Hortons Qualitative and Engineering Representation What is Hydrology? Hydrology means the science of water. In general, engineering hydrology deals with estimation or water resources, the study of processes such as precipitation, runoff, evapotranspiration and their interaction and the study of problems such as floods and droughts. The term hydrology is classified as scientific hydrology and engineering or applied hydrology. Scientific hydrology means the study which is concerned chiefly with academic aspects. Engineering or applied hydrology means a study concerned with engineering applications. And the next topic is availability of water across the world and across India. The availability of water across the globe, in percentage. Oceans 97.25%. Ice caps and glaciers 2.05%. Groundwater 0.68%. Lakes and rivers 0.01%. Soil moisture 0.005%, atmosphere 0.0001%. And these are the complete details of availability of water across the world. And India. The next topic is field of application. The hydrology is mainly applied in irrigation schemes, dams and hydroelectric power projects, water supply projects, flood control navigation and also in detail hydrology is used to find out maximum probable flood at proposed sites for example dams the variation of water production from catchments can be calculated and described by hydrology engineering hydrology enables us to find out the relationship between a catchment's surface water and groundwater resources the expected flood flows over a spillway at a highway culvert or in an urban storm drainage system can be known by this very subject it helps us to know the required reservoir capacity to assure adequate water for irrigation or municipal water supply and droughts condition. It tells us what hydrologic hardware, for example rain gauges, stream gauges ETC, and software, computer models, are needed for real-time flood forecasting. Used in connection with design and operations of hydraulic structure. Hydrologic cycle. What is meant by hydrological cycle? Evaporation of water from water bodies such as oceans and lakes, formation and movement of clouds, rain and snowfall, stream flow and groundwater movement are some examples of the dynamic aspects of water. The various aspects of water rela one to the earth can be explained in terms of a cycle known as the hydrologic cycle. And the hydrologic cycle begins with the evaporation of water from the surface of the ocean. As moist air is lifted, it cools and water vapor condenses to form clouds. Moisture is transported around the globe until it returns to the surface as precipitation. Once the water reaches the ground, one of two processes may occur. 1. Some of the water may evaporate back into the atmosphere or 2. The water may penetrate the surface and become groundwater. These are the schematic representation of hydrological cycle. The main components of hydrologic cycle are 1. Evaporation Evaporation is the process where a liquid changes from its liquid state to a gaseous state. Liquid water becomes water vapor. Temperature is the primary factor for evaporation. 2. Condensation. Condensation is the opposite of evaporation. Condensation is the process where a gas is changed into a liquid. Condensation occurs when the temperature of the vapor decreases. 3. Precipitation. When the temperature and atmospheric pressure are right, the small droplets of water and clouds form larger droplets or raindrops and it is called precipitation. 4. Surface runoff. Much of the water that returns to earth as precipitation runs off the surface of the land and flows downhill into streams, rivers, ponds and lakes. Small streams flow into the ocean. 5. Infiltration. Infiltration is an important process where rainwater soaks into the ground through the soil and underlying rock layers. 6. Transpiration or evapotranspiration. This is performed by plants. As plants absorb water from the soil, the water moves from the roots through the stems to the leaves. The hydrological cycle can also be represented in many different ways in diagrammatic forms as Horton's qualitative representation, Horton's engineering representation, 
the schematic representation of qualitative representation of Horton's hydrological cycle is shown below. And the schematic representation of engineering representation of Horton's hydrological cycle is shown below. The next topic is qualitative and engineering representation. Water budget equation for a catchment. The area of land draining into a stream at a given location is known as catchment area or drainage area or drainage basin or watershed. The qualitative representation can be done by using various problems. These are some to solve problems. The continuity equation for water balance is given as change in mass storage equals mass inflow minus mass outflow. Delta S equals to VI minus V. The water budget equation for a catchment considering all process for a time interval delta T is written as Delta S is equals to P minus R minus G minus E minus T, where Delta S represents change in storage. P represents precipitation. G represents net groundwater flowing outside the catchment. R represents surface runoff. E represents evaporation. T represents transpiration. Storage of water in a catchment occurs in three different forms and it can be written as S equals to SS plus SM plus SG, where S means storage. SS represents surface water storage. SM represents soil moisture storage. SG represents groundwater storage. Hence change in storage may be expressed as Delta S is equals to Delta SS plus Delta SM plus Delta SG. The rainfall runoff relationship can be written as R is equals to P minus L, where R represents surface runoff, P represents precipitation, L represents losses that is water not available to runoff due to infiltration, evaporation, transpiration and surface storage. 